Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Damo, and on today's pedal art video, we're here in Farnborough at the airport exhibiting with the Peugeot 205 GTI. We're at the British Motor Show. We're going to take you on a little tour around, comment on a few of our cars, and pick out some of our favourites. British Army rallying and karting. We, didn't we see an Alpha like that when we went to pick up the 205? Like that? Yeah. I can't remember. Like it was in really bad condition. Was it? Yeah. So we're obviously in nice and early because we're displaying the 205 GTI. So what have we got? Triumph stack. It's for sale. Hard top. What's he want? 67 for it? V is it V8? V6. They did come with a V8, didn't they? Can be viewed after show. Stains. Did they come with a V8? I thought there was a V8 in the stag. Is it? Yeah. Jaguar, Escort Cab, XR3i. Look at how many AA vehicles there are. And there's a hydrogen powered one. So, as well as the old. Is that a Morris? Marina style van, which looks mint. There's also a hydrogen powered vehicle down there, which is interesting, isn't it? 2023, it's got, I like the, and see the number plate, that's how number plates used to look with those letters, angled. This must be the GTR club. Do you like any of those? F3 BAP. Mm. That 124 is quite cool, I like that. Where? In green. Let's go and have a look at that. And then when I was at school, one of my mates, one of his first cars was a um, one of those. What are they? Is it a 126? 124. 124. Do you know what these cars are behind it? That's a very rare. FSO Polonets. I can't believe it. in a car park full of Lamborghinis and hydrogen power vehicles. But, um, leaning towards the old uh, FSOs. I don't know much about FSOs, but I do know I have been in one. I did have a friend who had one. But they used to be all over the place, very cheap to buy Why are they Eastern so Bloc um, vehicles. Um, they weren't. It was a cheeky. Our uh, bath, I'm guessing. So we, oh no, there's a mini there, which is, looks interesting. We'll have a close look at that in a minute. It's a few golfs there. Mark 1 TT, which looks very moody. I'll go in and have a Mazda. Oh, there's a Club. Volvo 850. Um, oh. oh, yeah, let's go and have a look at that. Cigaris, isn't it? That is a good looking car. That is just a good looking bit of kit, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, George Russell's on the uh, Mercedes F1 experience truck now. There he is. Used to be just Lewis. Bottas never made it onto that truck. As far as I'm aware, did he? <laughs> did he have Bottas on there? Sorry. Oh, that Look is. at that focus. Look at the wheels. Wow. TT, massive exhaust. Vara, Vara Technic. There must be like a tuner. I don't know what that's happened with this Mini. Sparkly paint. Lopped off a roof. You're going to get wet in that, aren't you? Mark II GTI with the Pirelli wheels on a B. Didn't, didn't and this a Mark rival one. the 205? Yeah. 
Yeah, I th I, I, it, the Mark II though is a different car. It, it's just a lot bigger than the 205. And the Mark One. And Mark One has clearly been kitted out proper style for the track with the roll cage bucket seats. There's a lot of carbon there, which I'm guessing I'll give it a little tap. Yeah, that's proper carbon, I think. Carbon roof, carbon boot. More GTRs, a 200 SX. Always wanted one of those, nearly sold my 944 to buy one. Test drove a black one back in the day. Very good looking car, really attractive. Love the front mean lights and drove it. It didn't feel very special. It just felt like a normal Nissan. We're in the petrol hedonism zone. There is a BMW Z3 um, M, isn't it? With the hard top roof, they're quite rare. Uh, TVR, Mercedes, AMG, and a Ferrari. What Ferrari is that? I'm going to say a 488. I don't know my Ferraris. And, uh, I'm more interested in the uh, oh. Oh, more interested in the M BMW M. Bang me. I like that. That's nice. And a kick-ass Land Rover next to it. So the. Uh, Cool SL Merc there by the look of it. Come oh no, Camaro, sorry, what am I thinking of? Camaro. Those headrests on the be beam look like cows. Look at this Mercedes. Well, A, that, let's look at this Camaro. That is cool, in matte black. I like it. I like the wheels. I like the style. I like the kind of um, subtlety of it. I like the big wheels at the back. But just take a look at that Mercedes. That is slammed, isn't it? And it deliberately. I'm guessing smaller wheels. I think it must be on air. Yeah. Can't not be. How would you get it over the speed bump? Hey man. Hey man. 350 mini. It must be some kind of, um, I know this sounds really obvious, a Ford Club. But there were some BMWs there as well. Let's see, uh, Orion. Is that the Orion we saw at the Camberley Car Show? And what looks like an XR. C34 EMT, I'm not sure. With a BMW anybody and everybody who wanted to turn up. Seat, so, yeah. Focus, Mondeo, yeah, they're all like touring car reps, aren't they? These are all the drivers I remember seeing. Radish, Thompson. Radish. Radish. Uh, UMX5. <laughs> Mr. Beast is here, and he's Stinger. <laughs> Look at the reg plate. Mr. Beast went drive a Stinger. It's too rich. Unless Mac it's like that, grand, like, like that Gran Turismo one. Is that an STO? It's nice. Sounds good. Looks good. Bentler. Yeah. Oh, is that a 1M? It is. Didn't you want 1M? <coughs> Can What's a prefect? Ford. Oh, right. An old Ford. I really like the look of the, the styling of them. Very pretty car. That is gorgeous. Well, there's none on Auto Trader, but there's loads of Austin and Rover. Aus Auto Trader is the wrong market for. Um, yeah. Never heard of that, but sports car, body kit price. Wait for someone to turn up, they must be starting to queue, so know what I mean. Hello. I like that one with the roof rack on. You know, our old house years ago, they used, there was a guy next door, he used to have one of those um, two CVs with the van bit at the back, and it was um, orange. It's been all around the world. Plural. Oh, look at this yellow one. That's lowered, isn't it? No, that's how they came. Actually, they sort of pioneered oh, yeah. it with their, their famously green, like, yeah. bags of Like the BX. Um, yeah, that's why they go down. And they also were used in um, Rolls-Royce and Bentleys, I think. So just a nice, classy row of Sitchens. Hey 
There you go. MGTFs, nice. Four MGTFs. It's, that's not a TF. And this one isn't. It's a, it's a Z, isn't it? MGZ S180. Oh, there. It was in top an episode of Top Gear. Oh, yeah. That's what it's from. What's that? What's that? See the wheelie bin on wheels? <laughs> With the smiley face? Creepy smile. <laughs> it works. That is so funny. Oh my God. That just looks the most dangerous thing in the world. Oh my God. Not number 50. You need to do one where they're running to the cars like a little. I think this Batmobile thing was for sale one recently. I think I remember seeing it somewhere. Look at this mini. Oh, I remember that. Have we seen that before? Yeah. Where? Brooklyn? Oh, it's Danger Mouse. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, it's Danger Mouse. Oh my goodness. Is it based on an MX-5? I think it is. Oh. That's a Quattro Audi. It's a little bit shorter and stubbier than the later ones. That's super Jaguar. It's a bit of a different vibe. Yeah, motor show, the British Motor Show back in the day used to be NEC, big, big, big stands with manufacturers turning up. Whereas the new format British Motor Show is a little bit different, a lot more sort of enthusiast classic car club type areas. There's very few manufacturer areas. This is Honda. What's that, HRV? There's a Honda S800 and a um, NSX. Honda, Kia. But the stands are just a bit, the stands are just a bit flat. You know, they used to spend a lot of money on um, on the British Motor Show before the internet, because it, um, when you, um, before the internet, to, the way to see new cars was to um, go to a motor show or read a magazine. Whereas now you can see it all and interact with it online and watch a gazillion reviews, can't you? Yeah. And I think that's had a, I don't know, it just feels a bit of a shame, I mean, and these are, these are not manufacturer stands, these are dealer stands, so this is not like Vauxhall turning up, this is like Snow's Vauxhall turning up, so it's not even like the, right, is it going to be manual or auto? It's an auto, Aww. still very clean though, yeah, 959, Pereira GT, Aren't they like really quick? Yeah, very rare as well. Gee, that's a Genesis. BYD. Best car of the year. It looks like three three Y backwards C, but whatever. And I miss the McLaren down there. Hmm. So Marshall seemed to have all the stands. I'm just gonna put this up in the bin but look at that Skoda wow and there's a spider on it <laughs> what are you laughing at oh yeah I like that I think you're right about the colors they are a bit of a lifestyle choice but I do like it look at the, the glamper van inside very cool oh look at this Ferrari matte red it's a very low BMW oh look at the lights GLS wagon. Look at the size of that. Huge. AMG GT. 
It's nice seeing a car like that with the doors open because you can see how compact and together the people area is, the people the, where the people are, and that there's a lot of space and metal around them. What's this? Alpine. Alpine. Whose car is it? It's a show car. <laughs> Look at the aero though. If that's too high, isn't it? Normally it'd be lower than that, wouldn't it? Oh, it makes sense because we're on the Alpine stand. I do like an Alpine. It looks like it's been shortened. I mean, it hasn't. It's some electric Goodwood Festival of Speed Outwide record holder. Top speed 190 miles an hour, rear wheel drive, carbon fiber monocoque, less than a thousand kilos, full downforce at all time via fans. It's a fan car. Like the Brabham. Who was that? Maybe before as well. This Sunbeam, what, this? thousand horsepower Sunbeam, the first car in the world to attain a speed of over 200 miles an hour. Oh but look at it. It's got wire wheels and it just is it's got huge. No engine in it. KC Racing. Motor Museum stand. Sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out which stands are which. They do all sort of nerd. DBX 707, whatever that means. But it's very cool. Huracan, Technica, Bentley, McLaren, Aston Martin DB12, Premier GT, the iconic collection, 918 Spider, McLaren Senna, Ford GT, um, McLaren, I'm going to say V1, and now is that a laugh? Premier GT, a Mary Moody SVJ Aventador, Ferrari. From what year? Well, in '98 and '99, they had like a um, a decal on the front spoiler. So, is that a real real one then? Oh, it's certainly got the. Um, that's the. Isn't, this isn't a real car. They didn't. No, it's not real. Unless it's from some other formula. It's got the camera unit on the top. The onboard camera. So who's that? That's not an F1 car. Signed by oh. Eddie Jordan. Two thousand and four. So that's got to be a real Jordan car. Might be. See, in the old days, not wishing to sound like an old fart that I am, if you came to the motor show, you'd be lucky to see one Lamborghini, literally. And now, the world we live in, you've got Aventador there, Aventador there, Hurricane there, Hurricane there, Ferrari, 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 Hurricane, McLaren, Ferrari. There's a new Lotus Emira over here, let's just go and have a little look at that, shall we? Around here. See how sensitive it is coming off the clutch. Side by side, McLaren, either 540, 570, against a Lotus Emira.
Nice to see you in a mirror, close up. That, when she here, we're actually at Farnborough, which is an airport. I hate it when squirrels come. You said they say, look at that! We're recording. Oh. I'll have to dub this out now. <laughs> what, <coughs> so you don't like the fact that they don't know their classic cars like yeah. you do? It's really irritating, especially when they say they know a lot about cars when actually they don't, they don't. I saw that driving in. Hey, isn't that enough? Like, Sharon's first car or something? Yeah. Well, and we've probably seen that at Brooklyn's. Little Mini. Little Bentley. Yes, it's uh, another yellow Vauxhall Viva. Next to a Corvette. Back in the day when Vivas were on the road and there were more of them about, um, you didn't see many yellow ones. I seem to remember yellow was quite rare, but there we are. In recent times we've seen, you know the unique thing about them is the dashboard speedometer. Oh, it's like a big long... Is that a stock steering wheel? No. Are they... I can't see. But I think AA services is still like the most reliable car. I, I tr I, if I had it, I'd trade my current Game Boy for the Micro, because it's better. Right, let's go and get a seat for Fuzz, shall we? Tim and Fuzz, welcome him. Yeah. <laughs> CX, C5X, never heard of that. I feel like this isn't happening. Range Rover, Range Rover, oh, Mini, classic, what the hell is that? What is that? That's insane, isn't it? Thanks for watching this pedal out video. If you liked it, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you haven't done, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you again very soon on the next video. Cheers.